This program is brought to you by Emory University. So, so there has been a real push in recent years to try to link biology and responsibility. So the Supreme Court ruled a few years ago that uh, you could not execute someone who committed a murder when they were a minor. Interestingly, the logic the court used was not based in biology, although there were many psychologists who tried to link the two. But what it says is that our definitions of responsibility and maturity have as much to do with what society says as well as what biology says. And they don't necessarily have to agree. And in fact, I don't think they do agree that in many ways the brain probably is more mature than, is more, the brain's more mature and ready to do things uh, before society says it's okay. And that's where the conflict comes in for many teenagers. And, you know, over the past several decades, it, the, the way that we treat adolescents and teenagers has changed dramatically from what it was, you know, as recently as 50 years ago and, and certainly from 100 years ago. Um, you know, 100 years ago, once you hit your mid-teens, you were pretty much treated like an adult and you were expected uh, to earn a living or at least pursue an education. And if you didn't, um, you were pretty much thrown out. and to fend for yourself. As society has changed, um, in essence what has happened is that adolescence has been prolonged so that many people are not kind of fully deemed an adult or you know act like an adult until their 20s. You don't graduate college until you know you're 22 and then if you go on for pro uh, professional training then you're into your mid-20s and you know, many people are not even starting families until their 30s. I think, I think one of the major implications is that kids mature at different rates and it may have something to do with their brains. Um, but they're all, I mean, they're all kind of signs along the road to maturity. And some kids get there earlier than others. And because someone is experimenting with different behaviors and they're branching out and growing, um, it's not necessarily because their brains are immature and they just don't have the right judgment of what to do. I think a lot of studies show that teenagers actually do have the same cognitive capacity in many ways that adults do. And frankly, we all know adults who never seem to mature. So it goes both ways, but I think it's a mistake to just kind of lump teens into this category that they're immature and that they don't have the rights to do many things that adults do. I mean, that's, society has done that. Um, I mean, we have changed the rules. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.